Well, welcome back. We got some storms rolling through today. Been trying to hold off on picking these. Tomorrow's Friday, so. I'm gonna start picking tomorrow morning for the weekend. They're looking pretty good. Definitely gonna have some soft ones, but. Hopefully this rain doesn't knock a lot of them off. Trying to keep the birds and the deer out of here is a whole nother situation. I hear the birds in here now. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, this branch is good. Yeah. A little bit of mummy berry, a little bit of frost damage bad though you see there's not a whole bunch of blue but there's a lot of them so far still ripening more mummy berry here but we'll get in here tomorrow morning and get the signs up get people used to stopping and maybe by next weekend we'll be into some other some other berries Looking good though, we can get a couple of them out of here, that's for sure. My guess right now there's probably about, I don't know, there's only one, two, three, four, there's only five rows here, so, of this variety, short rows. There's probably five or six flats out here right now, I bet. So, ain't really enough to open up the road stand, but it's enough to get people to start stopping here at the home farm yeah see some of these uh some of these blue crops are starting to change too or whatever this variety is here berkeley maybe all right tomorrow will be first day definitely got some storms coming hopefully it don't hit us too hard See how the corn's doing? Eh, don't look too bad so far. All right, we dug the other easy go out of mothballs the other day. Got it cleaned up. This is a, uh, what is it? Oh, here it is. All right, this is a, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's 94. So it's a 94 easy go. Uh, Textron, so I guess it's a marathon basically. Well, we ended up getting some new batteries for it from Napa see all right but I got it back going it seems to be a potentiometer problem so I'll set you guys up all right this uh this easy go is a controller cart I believe it's got a small controller on it too like a 250 or something but the pop box some people call it the pop box Right, the potentiometer box right here it's bolted to this bracket right here and it's also attached to the gas pedal so right so what's happening is I'm hoping it's just out of adjustment and it's not actually bad 
but I'll show you. When you get it going full throttle, like it works, three quarter pedal, but if you go full throttle, it just shuts down. Come back a little bit off of full throttle. comes back on so I'm hoping it's just an adjustment but I'm gonna do an ohms check on it real quick just to see before I even waste my time messing with the linkage all right well it's kind of hard to see in here but this is your pop box wires coming up to the controller oh, they were kind of loose too I don't like that I'm going to set your voltmeter to ohms. Get your leads in these two wires. Huh. By the looks of it, it goes to six. I wonder if it's stuck between stuck between two points there. Well, it seems like it's working, but it does go to six when it when it's probably shutting off. Hmm. Well, we'll clean up those connections and see what see what's going on. All right, we got the wires back on there. I'm gonna do a try to count the gears. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right, well, we got it in forward. We got the key on. I'm just going to go through the potentiometer. It feels fine until you get to the end of the pedal. And let's push down on the thing and see, see if we get an extra more speed out of it. Shuts off. Push it down. Nothing. All right. All right, well that's making me think that it's just an adjustment. So hopefully we can adjust it out and get this thing to get this thing to just stop on top speed. Move some of the wires out of the way so you can see the how the linkage works a little better.
There ain't much threads left on that other one either. Ooh. Alright, I went the other way. I went long and I left like two threads on both sides. Let's see what this one does. I'm just gonna hold it on there. I had to go longer, not shorter. Pedals all the way down. If you really mash on it, it shuts off still, so. So we're gonna come out another whole turn on one of these. That should be good. There you go. That's good. And it seems like it's in high speed up until about a half inch off the floor, so that's that's a lot better. We want more full speed, less low speed. Good thing this thing's I guess we'll tighten up our nuts while we got it out here. Still slow. This one's actually responsive. <laughs> There's a couple of them out in this field, but I have a feeling these got hit by the frost because they're back here in the corner of the property. They're pretty much at the low corner, so there's a few on them. Definitely not going to break the bank. 
but get every last one of them. There's a few on them. They're really sparse. I think I hit hard with the mummy and the frost. It's on the list. Spray for mummy berry. Every year. At the exact perfect time. And if the weather doesn't let you, you're kind of up Poops Creek without a paddle, right? right? A lot of people are having hard times over here. The lady around the corner sells strawberries. All of hers were underwater, so she didn't get any of them, really. She said she planted watermelon, and then that got washed out, so she had to replant it. Not too many of them out here, but they're out here. A couple here and there. These ones are the second ones that really come in full force. Yep. It's how the cookie crumbles. And usually when it crumbles, you get the really, really small piece, right? Our blue crop patch, one of them. I see one blue one there. These will be coming in after them, after the Weymouth. They don't look too bad as long as the deer stay out of them. That's the biggest problem. know it's a wet year when the blue crop has mummy on it that's for sure it's a much later variety it tells you it was wet really long look at this batch the deer are definitely eating these ones <laughs> uh, bye bye berries this is another problem you run into, especially with the deer. You know, these branches are so small and they're so loaded, they'll, they'll be hanging way down to the ground by the time, you know, right in convenient chomping level. This variety is called Early Blue. They come in probably right after the Walcott's down back. But they're pretty loaded. Look at that, look at that cluster. <laughs> Definitely a bad year for mummy berry though. Ryobi days. Oh man. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna get a free work light with our battery combo pack. Oh, that's heavy. Kind of liking this thing too, but I don't think I really need it right now. It's pretty, pretty nifty though. The fan's 40 bucks. The light's 80 bucks. So, we'll get a free light and pay for a fan, right? It's not a bad deal right now if anybody's into this. The sales are going on now. Mine started on the 11th, here where I'm at. But you get two 4 amp hour batteries and a charger and a free tool. So, I, I picked the $80 light as my free tool. And then the fan was on sale for $39 or $40 something. So, 
Now we got two fans and maybe that'll help with the filming. Holy crap, no wonder the power was out over here. Jeez, look at this thing. Wow, this is a big tree. Holy crap. Look at what the bugs did to it. That's pretty nuts. There's pieces of it all the way down there. Must have been the top. Must have fell right here. Right here. Wow. Snapped it like a twig. Wow. Strawberries are getting crazy big. <laughs> I picked some out of here the other day. <laughs> Definitely still got to get in here and do some weeding here. Some down in there. Ooh. They're hiding all over the place, huh? That's not. That's definitely not. Strawberries. Get out of there. Jeez. How'd that thing get that big and I didn't see it? All right. There's the one strawberry patch. There's some ripe ones down here, too, along with some grass. We got to get out of there. I've been picking them. I've just been eating them faster than they come in. Sunflower. There's some tomato or uh, strawberries over here and some weeds, apparently. There's a couple ripe ones. Little guys here. Not looking too bad. This lettuce is probably about to bolt. I have to pull it out. The rest of this stuff looks like it's doing good. Some weeds coming in here too. This head of romaine lettuce. These ones look good. Peppers. They're going. So is the okra. Uh oh. This tomato plant's falling out. I gotta finish this cage. Yeah, maybe I'll just let it go. Let it droop down. See what happens, huh? The rest of them are getting held up. And we got that second batch of peppers put in over here. That don't look like a pepper. We had a few. Well, they're calling for rain here around noon, but I haven't seen nothing yet. I guess we'll get these guys on charge and... cut some grass until it starts raining. Oh yeah, we got another fast charger. A couple of four amp hours. I guess this is gonna turn into my battery bag now. I got enough of them. So that's cool. Two bars. bars That's cool Let's see if these guys work all 
already have one of these, but the other day when the power went out, it would have been nice for my grandmother to have one. Would have helped her sleep a little bit, a little bit better, but we're good now. I've got plenty of batteries. I can charge them up off the solar panel, so it's not an issue. Let's see if this guy works. Oh yeah. Low and high. Alright, cool. I've been wanting to get this thing for a while, but it was like $80. I was like, eh. I'll wait till I can get a deal on some batteries. And all these are uh, hybrid too, so you can plug them in. Like if we're at the shop and I need more light. Oh yeah. Two settings, high and low. So that's cool. Hopefully it doesn't make the camera shutter or anything. Let's see. Oh, I don't see it. I guess we'll find out when we get in a dark spot, right? There we go. We got a light and a fan to add to the collection. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go cut, eat lunch and cut some grass until it starts raining. Tomorrow starts six weeks of nonstop work. See y'all in the next one. Somebody's practicing. first wave went through there's another one coming it's pretty slow moving almost forgot the blackberries you gotta check them out holy they're going off petals are starting to fall off them some of them are opening up birds are flying out of here like crazy though look at this That's going to be a lot of blackberries. <laughs> it's nuts. You can see the damage that the deer have done over here on this row. They they come right up here and just eat all the leaves right off them. Seems like since the uh, electric fence has been up, it's slowed them down a little bit. But this side that they're not getting to is doing pretty good. Too bad. <laughs> uh, my neighbor came over and dug some up. I'm like, you're going to hate me in five years. This thing fell down. I'm going to tuck her back up there.